Hi, my name is Dr. Jacques Hubert. I'm here from the University of the Western Cape in the School of Pharmacy and the Discipline of Pharmaceutical Chemistry, where I'm currently the head of the discipline as well as an active researcher within this pharmaceutical chemistry research group. I'm also currently a Y2 rated NRFM scientist and my research basically focuses on the design and discovery of new chemical entities for diseases for which there is an unmet medical need. So basically we have two disease areas that we focus on. Um, first of all neurodegenerative disorders um, and as well as infectious diseases such as malaria. But I would like to focus first a little bit on the neurodegenerative disorders that, and the research that we do in that. So two diseases that are neurodegenerative diseases are Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. So basically there are some therapeutic options available on the market um, to, to treat some of the signs and symptoms associated with um, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease. But unfortunately there's no current cure against these disorders. So once we've identified a, a specific target that we want to work on, we go into a process that is known as rational drug design and discovery. And that is basically where we um, do mole computerized molecular modeling. And the computerized molecular modeling is basically where we can visualize the target and visualize what we call an active site within this biological target where we can design our small chemical entities or small molecules. So once we've done this and we have an idea of the type of compounds that can fit into this target, fit into the active site, um, we can go into the synthetic chemistry laboratory and then um, try and synthesize these um, compounds that we've designed with the molecular modeling. So the organic chemistry that we do basically entails um, synthetic chemistry and uh, as well as um, numerous purification methods and then obviously structural elucidation methods as well because we know we need to know if we have the correct compound before we go into biological testing. So the structural elucidation the type of work that we do is nuclear magnetic resonance, mass spectroscopy, infrared and if we want to unequivocally prove if we have the structure we might also do some x-ray crystallography. So um, after we have this series of compounds and we, we have this hypothesis that it might work in this specific target, it might be a potential neuroprotective agent, then we go into our biological assay laboratory. Now the type of assays that we do here in-house is mainly in vitro assays, which is cell-based assays. Um, we have a fluorescent plate reader where we do all of our assays on. And basically what we want to see here is if um, we have a proof of concept. So we had the target, we designed the compound, we synthesized the compound, now we test and see if these compounds are potential near the protective agent, uh, agents and potential drug candidates that we can take further into some more biological tests, maybe even in vivo tests, and then prove that these compounds might be neuroprotective. Our ultimate goal would be to um, design a compound or a drug candidate that can go into clinical trials and hopefully one day get onto the market and be a cure for either or and neurodegenerative disorders or against malaria. So um, if you would like any additional info or if you're a prospective postgraduate student, you can find all of my details on the University of the Western Cape website and please, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.